Today, I'm gonna to show you how to speed up your workflow by customizing this mouse to do all sorts of things. I spent two years not fully customizing it, and I don't want you to miss like I did for two years of productivity and speed that you could have had the whole time. Just so you know, all these customization tips apply to the MX Master 2S and also the 3. So without further ado, let's dive into customizing this. The first thing you need to do is make sure you've downloaded the Logitech Options app. It's what allows you to customize this mouse. Once you've done that, we get to start customizing right away. Now you can choose to be super basic and have it just do one function per each button. So this button right here, I have it selected just to go back a page or go forward a page or on this one, just be a horizontal scrolling. However, when we only put one customization per each button, we're really limiting the power of this mouse. And sadly, this is what I did for two years, was just have each button do only one thing. And while it was super helpful, I really wasn't able to unlock its true potential. So to unlock the fullest potential of this mouse, you're going to do this. Let's use the scroll wheel, for example. I'll go ahead and select it. And then we're going to find gesture button and select that. Then we're gonna make sure customize is selected. Then we'll come over to customize, click that. And this is where you get to decide what happens for this gesture button. Before this example, we're gonna choose the up gesture button and then scroll down to open application. Then select browse and choose an application to set for this button. So now whenever I press and hold down the scroll wheel and slide my mouse up, the calculator app will open and I can start using it. Now, of course, you don't have to choose a calculator. You can choose any application you want, but maybe you don't want it to open an application. Maybe you have a web page you check often, maybe that's stocks, maybe you're a YouTuber, you gotta check your analytics, whatever it is, you can choose open web page and then just copy and paste a URL. So I'm gonna use my website, I'm gonna copy that and paste it and then just select okay. So now when I hold down the scroll wheel and slide up, it's going to instantly open that web page for me. I don't have to do any search, nothing. At this point, you might be realizing how powerful this is sort of becoming. But keep in mind, this is only one of the gestures. We still have the other four gestures to do, the down, the left, and to the right, just for this one button, which is the scroll wheel. Now, the second most powerful customization, aside from the gesture button, but working with the gesture button, is this one right here. This is called the keystroke assignment. And you can tell it any keystroke assignment shortcut that you have. So a lot of systems come with shortcuts already, like most people know Command C is copy and then Command V is paste. So if that's something you do all the time, you can just have it be a gesture stroke now and just as easy as moving your mouse around and you can copy and paste things. Now, I personally have mine set to Shift Command 4, which is the shortcut for a screen grab. And then I have my gesture right assigned as Shift Command 5, which is the screen recording shortcut. Now keep in mind, if we go back to the main page here, we still got all of the other buttons to customize. The only one we can't customize with gestures is this scroll wheel on the side. It's, this is what you're limited to. And I usually keep it to horizontal scroll because I find that useful for video editing to scrub through my timeline. And speaking of editing, you can customize this mouse for individual applications. So right now we've been just applying this to all applications, but if we select all applications and add an application, we choose from all our applications that we have and we select the program we want to customize this mouse for. So I use Final Cut Pro and DaVinci Resolve for editing. So for Final Cut Pro, I have customizations for the mouse that are not the same when it's under all applications. For instance, this top button here, I have set to a gesture button, which is customized so that when I switch left and right, I can swipe between my desktops. But if I swipe down, I copy. And if I swipe up, I paste. This makes it really easy to copy and paste titles or effects or things that I'm working on. So for another example, I have this top button here on the side set to a gesture button, and I don't actually have all of them customized out. I'm still working it out, but I have the swipe right as the shortcut for opening my scopes. And then I have the swipe down to be the shortcut for pasting attributes. And then to keep things really simple, I kept the lower back button just to one command, and I just had it be a keystroke assignment 
for command Z, which is undo, because I'm doing that a lot. There is one customization I really like, and it's called zoom using scroll wheel, and I use it on my thumb pad a lot. This makes it really convenient to zoom in and out on my timelines while I'm editing. However, there are two problems I've encountered using this option. The first one is, is if I wanted this thumb button to be a gesture button instead, so I can get four customized options out of it instead of just the one, I can't make one of them be zoom using scroll wheel. Even though I select it, it just won't let me do it. So I've had to sacrifice the additional three customized gestures I could have gotten and just leave the thumb pad as zoom using scroll wheel because it's just something I like very much. And the second issue with the zoom using scroll wheel is that for whatever reason, this does not work in DaVinci Resolve. Now this is annoying because I've been using the zoom using scroll wheel ever since I got this mouse. I'm so used to it for Final Cut Pro and it's not there for DaVinci. So I've had to make a workaround and this is how it goes. I go up here and I switch over to DaVinci Resolve so that everything I customize is for DaVinci Resolve now. I come down to the thumb pad because that's the one I want to change. I make it a gesture button. I choose to customize it. Then I click customize. And then in this case, I've chosen the upstroke to be command plus, which will zoom in on the timeline. Then I've chosen the keystroke down to be command minus, which will zoom out from the timeline. And as you can see for the other left and right options, I've also selected those to be shortcuts as well. Basically to unlock the advanced level customization of this mouse, you'll want to use the gesture button so that you get four customized button gestures instead of just one per each button. And then on top of that, I believe the keystroke assignment button to be the most powerful one because typically you'll already have customized keyboard shortcuts. They come with your computer. You can customize them on your computer or in your applications like your editing program or whatever. And then you can just use those and put them to your mouse instead. No more hunting and pecking for the right combination. No more remembering it. It's just a gesture on a certain button that you've selected. I think that's a little bit more simple than trying to remember combinations like shift command V or command shift four and things like that. Now there are loads of ways that you can customize your mouse and to your preferences and needs. Typically go with what you're using all the time. If you're going to web pages all the time, maybe make it a shortcut for your mouse. Maybe you have editing preferences and it would just be easier to put it in a mouse instead of having your hands constantly be taken off the mouse, going to your keyboard and back. Basically, the point of this is to make your life a little bit easier and make things a little bit faster that you do often already. So if this video helped you out, please consider sharing it with someone else because I think more people need to know how to truly unlock this mouse. And if you don't have it, I highly recommend it. You should get it. I'll link it down in the description. This one's a really great one or you can get the Mark III. And if you have any questions, put them down in the comments. I will help you out if I can. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video.